the five necessary characteristics of a cloud. To be a cloud, you have to meet five requirements. You have to offer on-demand service, broad network access, rapid elasticity, and measured service. On-demand self-service means that you can configure your own cloud resources. And so you can turn the little dial to have more or turn the little dial to have less without having to go through an intermediary. You don't have to call up a salesperson and say, hey, I need 15 more servers, make it happen, chop chop. You can just turn the dial and magically you have more service or turn the dial and magically have less service. So it's on demand and it's self-service. Pretty straightforward. Broad network access. And this means that it's generally termed to mean available across the public internet but certainly available through lots of points of origin. That doesn't necessarily have to mean that it's available on the public internet, but you can't say it's a cloud if there is only one way in and one way out. Resource pooling. This really just means that it's a shared resource. You can't have a cloud for one. If you have a cloud for one, it's not a cloud. You've got to share resources with other things. Now, in a private cloud, you may be sharing resources between the different parts of the same organization. So accounting uses these servers on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and marketing uses these servers on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, or however it is that it works out. You know, you're sharing the resources that are a pool and you can do what you need with them. Rapid elasticity. And this is the one that gets a little muddy because how rapid is rapid? Rapid elasticity is also sometimes called dynamism. Don't think I said that right. But the ability to dynamically expand and contract your usage. And it doesn't necessarily have to be automatic, but it has to happen quickly. Some people try to spin things as cloud, but then when you go to make changes to the size of the resource pool that you're using, they say, oh, that'll take two or three days. Well, that's not rapid. Rapid is we hit Slashdot or Reddit or Hacker News or whichever one of the news sources is going to drive traffic, and all of a sudden you go from 12 users to 12,000 users like that and you need those resources on demand. And so you need that rapid elasticity because then when the users all go goodbye, you can shrink back down. And so you're really paying only for what you're using, which goes to the last requirement, which is measured service. People talk about DreamHost as a cloud provider. And I like DreamHost, don't get me wrong, they host a bunch of my stuff because for $8 a month they're tough to beat. But they don't offer me measured service, which kind of rules them out as a cloud. Because if you say something is unlimited, it's not really unlimited. You know, I have an unlimited DreamHost account. It says I have unlimited storage and unlimited bandwidth. Well, I'm not going to host Facebook for $8 a month, and if that worked, uh, Facebook could be cutting me a deal to, to come host on DreamHost. So there are limits to those unlimited. So it's not a measured service. And if you Google me, you'll know that I have a history of finding out whether or not unlimited, unmeasured, unmetered really means that. But a measured service means that you get an audited report that says you consumed these CPU cycles or you consumed these resources or this hard disk space and you're billed according to which resources you used. If you don't have that, it's not a cloud service. You have to have all five. You have to be on-demand self-service, broad network access, resource pooling, rapidly elastic, and be a measured service. And for the most part, you'll find that anybody who says they're a cloud is, like I said, DreamHost likes to talk about being in the cloud. They're not a measured service for the most part. 
I think they have some measured services, but those measured services tend to not be rapidly elastic. So when you're evaluating whether or not somebody's a cloud provider, go through the five choices. If they don't meet all five requirements, they aren't truly a cloud.